Hello, this is Nana Goji here, coming out with another random video. Not really random. And I just finished watching Obi Wan Kenobi. And. I just watch. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something real quick. Let me try to find a song for to explain my words that the spot that sums up this this show and, and I'm pretty sure Rob from ETN knows what song I'm talking about the song that he plays when talking about this show and I think he knows the song okay I'm gonna try to find it I don't know what the name of the song is but I'm just gonna pin. I think I'm just gonna pin. You song. I'm gonna try to find out when I'm gonna loop with that. Sorry if I stole that from you, Bob. Uh, I just. Let me try to. Try to find a one hour loop. One. One hour. No. Hour. One hour. Loop. I'm not going to make this video an hour, but I'm just going to find a one hour loop in case it becomes an hour. But I do got a lot of stuff to say. So just in case it comes now. Where is it? I think. I think this is it. Uh, yeah, let me just make sure. Ah, <laughs> give me a fucking ad. This is the closest thing to fuck you, so I'm gonna play this song. I don't know the song. Okay, I think it's this one. I'm just gonna have to look for it. Let me just put in sit seventies. See what pops up. Fuck you song seventies. Okay. Because I don't know the name of the song. Fuck you song seventies. Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, one hour loop. One hour loop. Hoping this is the one. Okay, maybe let me see if this is the one. No. 
No, that's not the song. What's the name of the song? No, what's the name of the song? I'm just gonna have to look for an alternative. I think I, I think I know a perfect song for this. That's an alternative. Cause I can't, I don't know the name of the song, so I'm just gonna pick this song. Shit. It'll be about as, it, not as good as the other one, but yeah, it'll work. Seven minutes just to find this. Jesus. Most of this video is gonna be like for seven minutes. I'm probably gonna be like me trying to find the song. So one hour loop. I'm gonna be. Is there a one hour loop? Okay, I'm just probably have to play this. Okay, this mother. What the fuck is wrong with this fucking show? This show has no meaning. The show is the worst show that I've ever known. This is the worst Star Wars property I ever seen. I don't care if you say the prequels are worse. I don't care if you say the sequels are worse or yeah, just basically that. I don't care if you think there's any other Star Wars property that's worse. No, this is the worst Star Wars property because it disrespects the continuity of the franchise. This is the continuity in the franchise. It doesn't care a fuck about the continuity in the franchise. Okay, so let's get the positive stuff, which is very few. Number one, it starts off great. Like the idea of Obi Wan. Well, it's not really that Obi Wan. Obi Wan comes out like, hey, he's a Jedi, and then all of a sudden, as soon as they bring up Princess Leia. Like the first, I say like 20, I think the first episode is pretty good, I guess. It's better than the other five episodes, two to six. Because Leia's not in it that much, he's only in it until the end. Only in it until the end. And when she comes in, that's when it becomes shit. Okay. Basically what happens in the first episode, blah blah blah. Obi-Wan's protecting Luke 
Inquisitors want to kill all the Jedi. They're looking for Obi Wan, so yeah. Blah blah blah. I don't even care about to bring the whole plot about the Inquisitors killing some people. I don't give a fuck about that. Because of how bad this show is. Now, I like how it starts off. You don't know that much about Obi Wan. It seems like he still knows the Force. He comes off like someone who just. Who lives a normal life. Like he brings me a day just to feed himself. Even though he's not supposed to do that. I don't think he's supposed to do that. Unless he gets permission from the boss. Anyway. This is the worst show. The first episode starts off good. Until Princess Leia shows up. What? Okay. No. When Princess Leia shows up. Okay, I don't have a problem with Princess Leia showing up. The problem is. You should have um, not have Obi Wan. Okay, let me put that on loop. <sighs> this show pisses me the fuck up. Oh my god, why is there so many fucking ants? Okay, there's only one ant. This so this show. Okay, let me see if there's actually a one hour loop. I think there's one hour loop. No. I think this is one hour loop. That wasn't her song. Wait for it. 
I put on the Sub Hell. I don't even care if I get a copyright claim for that. I'm putting this song on. And YouTube, if you give me a copyright claim, I will come right at you. I You. You are the motherfucker. Whoever wrote this show is a motherfucker. You should not have ruined the content. Rhea, Princess Leia should not have been in this freaking show. She had you. Who died that Princess Leia? You had Luke Skywalker. Who knows? Who had known Obi Wan? Why didn't you lose him? Why couldn't the whole show be taking place on Tatooine? I understand if they want to go outside of Tatooine because we already had a show take place on. Wait, is it Tatooine? Yeah, take place on Tatooine. I think. Yeah. On Tatooine. So that's probably why they didn't do that. I can understand that because they don't want to have two shows both taking place on Tatooine. I can understand that. But you could at least have Luke Skywalker, have Obi-Wan interact Luke Skywalker. Not until the very last episode. Not even in the episode. You wait until the very last second and the first thing Obi-Wan says in the first in the last episode is the meme. You know what meme I'm talking about. Hello there. I laughed when I said that. That was funny, but okay. But that's the only thing he says. You just say hello there. That was funny, but I'm gonna let that slide. And let's talk about the characters. There are no interesting characters here. Even the original cast, it's cool that they have Darth Vader, but he has. N but they bought. Th but they forgot the brain. Well, nah. Darth Vader is the only good part of the show. He is literally the only good part of this show. That's the only good thing that I can say about this show. That Darth Vader's in it. That's about it. They even got the Grand Inquisitor from Rebels, and they just treat him like shit. And I like the Grand Inquisitor from Rebels. He was my, he was the best character in Rebels. Oh my god. And they don't even use him. They kill him off in the second episode and bring him back in the last episode. What the, f what the fuck? And this is. Up. And then let's talk about the second episode, basically. Obi-Wan trying to find Leia. Finds Leia from the freaking people who kidnapped her. I don't even want to remember who they kidnapped because they're not even worth remembering. They're basically just people who smuggle people into slavery or something. I don't know. Which I don't give a fuck about. Actually, I think the reason why they bought her is because they wanted to capture, to rule out Obi-Wan. That's the reason why they bought her. But who gives a shit? This show is complete trash. Anyway. They basically just want Obi-Wan. And here's another problem with the show. You're telling me Obi-Wan doesn't know how to use the fucking force. And doesn't know how to use a lifesaver. I'm sorry. What? Okay, I can understand that he hasn't used a lifesaver the force in like 10 years but I'm pretty sure in 10 years you can still remember a lot of things I'm pretty, and he's an adult I'm pretty sure when you're an adult you can still remember things yeah I'm pretty sure he, it's not like he's it's not like he was like I. it's obviously that he's not as old as he was in New Hope but and not as old as Rebels. I'm not sure how far Rebels takes place. I think it's... I'm not sure how far this show in Rebels takes place. But I know he was about the same age as he was in New Hope. So I'm pretty sure Rebels takes place just right after... Just right before Hope, New Hope begins. I guess that's when it begins. No. No, let's go back to that show. Okay. This is the worst show. 
this is a reason. Actually, let me see if we can find that. Uh, And you know why I'm playing this song now. What have I... What have they done? What have they done? They mess up. If you watch a video... If you get this reference... Uh, there was a previous YouTuber who did it, like a Transformers video. And said, what have I... And he literally says... It's a good song, but what have I done because of how bad the Transformers movie was. Anyway this and if you got that reference kudos on you anyway this is the worst show ever this is the worst fucking show ever put out i don't this is the worst disney plus show period this is the worst star wars show period i hate this fucking show i never want to watch it again i will never watch this show again never i'm sorry i'm going around and i'm actually talking about the episode anyway Basically, he uses the force, blah blah blah, uses the force, gets on, gets, gets an encounter with one of the Quisitor. Quisitor basically sends out a bounty hunt for Obi-Wan, but meanwhile, I think like sometime before that. Basically, yeah, I don't even care. This episode is so bland, it's boring, it doesn't do anything. It's just basically... Obi Wan saves, trying to rescue Leia. Gets Leia. Has to run away from the Inquisitors, bounty hunters, and stormtroopers. That's about it. Which he does. He encounters one of the Inquisitors. Almost gets killed, and then one of the Inquisitors. Get this. You know, the, remember how I said the Grand Inquisitor wasn't here? You remember how some people. Remember back a couple weeks ago when some people were mad about a certain thing? Well, guess what they were mad about? They were mad about them killing the freaking Grand Inquisitor. I know they made up for that. I know they made up for that in the, this episode, in the recent episode. But why would you kill the Grand Inquisitor? You just want to piss off the fans. You just want to piss off the fans. It's already bad enough you are putting Leia, having Leia and Obi-Wan together, travel together, even though in the original trilogy, there's no indication that they ever met. None! Okay, anyway. Obi-Wan gets away, goes on a transport ship. Oh yeah, basically a fake Jedi. Basically told how to get how to get Obi Wan home, how to find Princess Leia. I don't give a fuck. This sh that's how much I give a fuck about the show. I don't even remember, and I don't give a fuck to remember. This is the worst show ever made. Okay, anyway, why would you ruin the continuity of the show? Not the ruin the continuity of Star Wars. You just Let's get away from the continuity. Let's actually talk about the show. The show has nothing to talk about. It's, it has no substance, no nothing. The plot is mediocre. And the story is forgettable. And <laughs> the characters, are, well, I can't say nothing about the old characters. The characters that they are old, even though... Most of them, there are very few who are from the original trilogy, which is kind of cool that they got him back. Like, Obi-Wan himself is not a bad character, 
Princess Leia does her job well. Uh, Owen does a good job. Owen, you remember the guy? I think this is from Godzilla video. Is it? Ah, uh, no, it's not. That's Godzilla. Okay. Oh, that's the one. Why? Just why? Okay, let's get into the third episode. Third episode, nothing. Nothing happens. Oh wait, one thing happens. Princess Leia gets kidnapped. That's about it. That's about it. Nothing happens. Obi Wan just tried, is trying to find a way to get home. Oh yeah, previous episode, Fake Jedi tells him a way to get home back to go on this transport ship. Transport ship beats him nowhere. So. Get on a transport ship, the cargo ship that will lead him to a certain planet that will lead him that he has to get onto another ship. What is it with these shows and going on freaking ships? Anyway, to get on another ship, just to get to Princess Leia's home. I can't even remember what the name of the planet is. Get to Princess Leia's home planet. Anyway, and he gets. Nothing happens. Basically, they're walking around in the field. They encounter. They get. They count. They try to hitchhike. They get. They find someone to give them a ride. And it has storm. And then all of a sudden, stormtroopers pop up. They go to a storm. They go to. Yeah, that's about it. And they go to. A they go to an empire base. Nothing happens. Someone we meet, which is forgettable. I don't know who she is. They just she just pops up. She, it, I will admit, she's the least interesting. She's the only memorable character, I guess. I guess compared to some of the other characters in this show, which I'm thinking about it, there's not that many other characters. Besides the stormtroopers and the bunny and the other characters they bring in. There's not that many rainbow characters except for her. I think Inquisitors that they bring in. They bring in like two Inquisitors from Rebels. The one one Inquisitor and the other Inquisitor. The guy the great guy. And then they bring in... I don't even remember. You know, the two Inquisitors from Rebels, the... The... The one from the second season, you know how there's... The sister one, I forgot which sister it was, and the other one. The... I forgot... I know one is... I can't remember the name of the sister, okay. You know, the one of the sisters and the other Inquisitor. I don't think they give him a name, just Inquisitor number or something. That Inquisitor, you know what Inquisitor I'm talking about. The one who take over the Grand Inquisitor's base and 
Ultra, who are in most of season two. Those two Inquisitors. You know what Inquisitors I'm talking about. One of the the boy Inquisitor that I have I don't remember the name of. I'm not gonna look it up. This anyway, that Inquisitor. If you know what Inquisitor I'm talking about. Anyway. Those are the only two Inquisitors that are bought from Rebels and they're not even worth and they're not memorables. They don't even bring their character personality, what made them good. Except for the other one. Yeah. Oh yeah, not even in that episode, so who cares. Well actually they are, but they don't play anything into the main story. <sighs> Kinda. I can't even remember what happened in the episode because of how boring this is. I think that was the worst episode in the entire show. That was the worst episode. The absolute worst. Well, actually, second worst. Yeah, we'll get to episode four when that comes. Anyway, this show is the worst. This is a piece of crap. This is the worst monster. This is the worst. This show is the absolute worst. I'd rather, I'd rather have my balls cut off and then have my balls feed to a crocodile, feed to a crocodile and then have them, and then have my balls then pooped out by the crocodile intact and then have them and then have someone shove them down my mouth and kill me yeah I just went that dark I don't give a fuck then watch that fucking episode that is episode 3 that's not even the worst episode no that is that is considered good compared to episode 4 well actually let me get into the lightsaber battle about the end now you remember how oh yeah Darth Vader in the show remember how I said that well Darth Vader and Obi-Wan have a fight what the fuck individual trilogy new hope that was the only time they ever had a fight that was the only time they ever met what the fuck okay I can understand that you brought Darth Vader to grab an attention I get that, but don't have him fight Obi-Wan. And if you do have him fight Obi-Wan, make the fight book, make the fight good, make the fight good. And the good, and the fight is, this is a, five percent of the fight is terrible. What the, f okay, the first thing Obi-Wan does, he pulls out his lightsaber, and he runs away. I'm sorry, what? Okay, Obi Wan. A Jedi does not just run away. I don't care if you forgot how to use the Force and you forgot how to use a lightsaber. You do not just run away. I'm pretty sure your instincts will kick in, and you will remember at that exact moment to fight. No, you do not just run away. And I'm pretty sure in the previous episode. He used the force, and he bought his lightsaber. Oh wait, oh I forgot. He didn't use his lightsaber. He didn't use the force. He only used the force once, once to pick up Leia. That's about it. He uses his blaster, and he time he doesn't use the lightsaber and his freaking his freaking force. He's a Jedi. Do you know what Jedi's are for? They're supposed to use lifesavers and use a force. That's the purpose. Then the other stuff, I don't know. That's the two things Jedi's are known for. And he doesn't do any of that. That and they also don't bring anything that made Obi-Wan such a good character. Nothing. Anyway, episode 3. Let's talk about the fight itself. The fight is terrible. Obi-Wan is just cowering in 
fear, which is not what Obi Wan's supposed to do. You, Obi Wan, is he doesn't pick up a fight. He just swings the lightsaber, swings the lightsaber. As Darth Vader does all the most of the fight, most of the fighting, just hits Obi Wan with the lightsaber. Basically, just does that. Does most of the fighting. And Obi Wan doesn't do shit in that fight. Oh, and Obi Wan manages to lose that fight because Darth Vader puts him up with his force powers. Actually, remembers someone who knows how to use a force, grabs him up, chokes him, throws him down, and burns him. Okay. You get a point for that, for showing him what you did to him. Just to remind you what he did. And he almost died. Obi-Wan almost died. Oh wait, he doesn't die until New Hope, so it's not like he was gonna die down. Let me just get some burn marks, that's about it. This show is so terrible. Oh, and Princess Leia gets captured. Let's talk about episode 4. Episode 4. Uh, I can't do this. Episode 4. This is when it gets bad. Now, I heard the last two episodes were pretty good. I just watched the last three episodes. None of them are good. Episode 5 and 6 do not make up for them. No. I remember when people were saying, hey, maybe the episode 4 through sits will make up for this. No, it just gets worse and worse and worse. Well, maybe episode 5 and 6 are the better of the, or the only two good episodes out of this. Or the only two good or the only two good ones. And that's being nice. Not even good. They're, they're just better than the other episodes. That's about it. Episode 4. They're basically looking for Leia. They find Leia. Leia tries to reveal one of the Inquisitors try to ask Leia some questions about where the Rebels are hiding or where the, I don't know, where the freaking transports are hiding, where, where these Rebels are hiding because why do you care about these freaking Rebels? What, aren't, isn't your goal to find Obi-Wan? Who cares about the Rebels right now? You want to get Obi-Wan. Who cares about the Rebels? They're not even... I'm pretty sure this is when the Rebels were just starting, so... I'm pretty sure this is when the Rebel evolution was starting, so it wasn't in fourth swing. These guys are not even known well in the galaxy, so... The war hasn't even... They haven't even... The Rebels haven't even started yet, so... Why do you care about the Rebels? They, you don't know who they are, so... You don't know what they can do against Empire. You don't know the threat. So, why the fuck do you care about these people? Yes. Okay, maybe because they are helping out Jedi. And you know a little bit more about Jedi, so you want to kill all the... So you want to kill them all before they capture... Before they help more Jedi. Okay, so... That's about it. Oh wait, no, just rebels. I just remembered, just rebels. You're just helping people transport off the planet. That's about it. That's about it. They're just helping people transport off the planet, transport ship. Just helping people get off the planet, hide from the empire. That's about it. Just rebels. Just rebels being good. Uh, I don't even remember because I just watched it and I already forgot. These this episode's so forgettable. This is the worst episode. I don't give. A f there's nothing to remember. There's nothing worth remembering. What I can remember is oh, bubbles. These guys are bubbles. So okay. Anyway, basically they try to save Princess Leia. They do some. They basically infiltrate the. Ground. They try to save Princess Leia. They do so. 
They say Princess Leia. That's about it. Oh wait, Grand Inquisitor tries to interrogate her. Leia forces back because just because obviously she's a Jedi, I guess. Because of Empire, what happened in Return of Jedi? It, I don't know. She became a Jedi, I guess. So, I don't know. And then all of a sudden, oh wait, oh wait. Oh, this was actually a good twist. Obi Wan is about to go save Leia, and then all of a sudden, I actually like this part. Frozen tank, the freeze people, a tomb. And it looks very interesting. It's not like your typical ice. You know how people get coptated and they turn gray? Yeah. It's not like that. It's not anything like that. They actually. It's just. It's a very unique way to actually kill people. And. Well, not really kill them. Just. Well, it's not really killing. Well, just kill them. Yeah, I guess you can call them killing because of. The same thing. Yeah, it's basically killing them. It's basically the same thing. But anyway, this is the worst episode because Obi Wan just asks for whatever her name is to uh, do a distraction. And she does so. Oh, yeah, she takes out a guard. I don't care. And. She says she knows that where well, these, but well, they're hiding, and I actually kind of believe her. Maybe she was a spy, and she actually knew some things. And maybe she was an undercover spy. That would have been interesting to see. Like, oh, she's gonna be double cut. She's gonna double cut Obi Wan. Nope, it was just a lie. Just a lie. Just a lie. Fuck you, Obi Wan. Anyway, Obi Wan saves Princess Leia. Obi Wan saves Princess Leia. Blah 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 blah. They try to escape. Obi Wan finally uses his wife saber for once. Not according to time he fought Darth Vader in the previous episode. Uses his lightsaber and actually Okay, it's a pretty cool action scene, I'll give it that. That part is actually pretty cool. I I'll give it that. It's a pretty cool action scene. I'll give it that. You got positive. I'll give you that. Suspense is good, I guess. You ended well. I'll give you a point for that. Then they get off planet, they escape from the Inquisitors. They get away. Okay, the ending of episode 4 is good. I will admit that. That's the only good part about this episode is the ending. That's about it. But the... But it's like, what? 10 minutes? Like, it's a 40 minute show. Not including the 5 minute credits and 5 minutes. And the 5 minute... And the 5 minute intro. Recap and intro. Actually, I think it's three minutes. Four minute. Let's say four minute recap and intro. Metro. Yeah, three minute, four minute recap and intro, and five minute credit. So you're looking about what? Nine minutes. Look at a 31 minute show, and only the 10 minutes, only 10 minutes of it is good. Yeah. 10 minutes. In a 40 minute show. What the fuck? Oh my god. You wait this long to show the good stuff in a terrible ep Just. Okay, the climax. The ending is good. That's about it. It's the only thing this episode's got going for it. That's about it. The ending is good. Okay, you so you did something good about the ending, but the episode's still crap. Okay, episode five. What happens in episode five? Okay, it actually gets good from you. Not by much, but it gets good. 
Okay. They find Leia. They basically the whole mission about trying to get Leia home goes on, but Obi Wan. Oh yeah, the quiz of the pits track on the ship. Watch on the droid. And yeah, they find where Obi Wan's hiding. Find where they're hiding, and blah 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 blah. They try to get the ship. Darth Vader declares a new Grand Inquisitor to this lady that we hardly don't know who just got introduced. We don't know much about her. Don't know much about her backstory. Apparently she was a young queen who was killed by Anakin who Anakin Skywalker almost killed. I'm pretty sure Actually, how the fuck did she survive that? How the fuck did she survive not getting killed by Anakin Skywalker? They even show it! They even show it! They even show Lysim about to kill her! No, they show it! They show it! And somehow she survives! I'm sorry. What? No. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. I need a I need to take a breather. This show just makes me wanna I rather have my nose cut off, fed to Fed to a freaking have a shit on, and then someone put my nose put it on, and then put my nose back on, and then I have, and then I can only smell shit because that is how I feel about this fucking show. Okay, that made me feel better. I just had to put something bad in just to make me. Bad. The show is so bad. Episode five is horrendous. Oh my god. People say, oh wait, episode 5 and episode 6 are good. From the Star Wars fans who think it's good. No, episode 5 and episode 6 are good. This is what redeems the show. No, it doesn't redeem the show. The show is so shit. Yeah, episode 5 is better than the other sh episodes that we had. But no, it's still shit. It is still shit. So, pile of shit. Shit, shit, shit. Basically, nothing happens in this episode. Like in the previous episodes, nothing happens. Well, actually, some stuff happens. They enter. They actually do. It's actually kind of cool action scene that happens. They're about to breach the wall where the rebels and the, I don't know they're not rebels, but that's what I'm calling them. They're basically all rebels. You see the logo of the rebels, so it's basically rebels. Maybe pre-rebels, if you want to call it that. Pre-rebels, the beginning of rebels. P rebels, we want to call it. Proto rebels, P rebels, whatever start the people who start rebels. I don't know. They try to do that, but anyway, they start. They blast through the door, and it's actually a pretty cool action. They try. Okay, this part is actually good. The episode, I will admit, during the end. It's pretty good, I guess. That's about it. The only problem is about the part when the young green parts up. That I don't know. That's the only problem I have with the episode. That's about it. And then Obi Wan willingly giving himself up is and bringing and bringing no weapon. Bringing no weapon. I'm sorry. What? What was his plan? Did he just? What if he didn't have a plan? It's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Please, apparently, the Inquisitor wants to get revenge on Darth Vader by capturing Obi Wan and proving to Darth Vader. To, I don't know. I didn't really pay attention to the plot because I was so pissed off at that show. I was so pissed off about Anakin Skywalker letting a youngling survive. She, he that 
a youngling survive. I'm sorry, what? How did you get away with that? I'm pretty sure Palpatine would have been pissed about that and would have made and would have killed you right on the spot and probably look for Darth Maul and try to get him back. Oh yeah, and Darth Maul's alive. Uh, yeah, Darth Maul was supposed to be in the show, but eh, got dropped. Probably the weird scene or something. He got dropped from the show. Remember how all the rumors of saying Darth Maul was supposed to be in the show? Oh, Darth Maul's going to be in it. He's going to be in it. Nope, not in it. It's like, what the fuck? You write to this False advertisement. But that was just rumors, so, eh. This is the worst show. Oh, my God. I'm going to rage here. This is just basically... A fucking mess. Okay, the episode was pretty good. That's about it. But it's so bad. This is... I don't know if it's... It's kind of good bad, I guess. If that makes sense. It's not bad. It's good. It's a good bad, I guess. It's bad in a good way. That's how you say it. It's bad in a good way. Yeah, it's bad in a good way. That's how you say it. It's bad, but it's not as bad as the other episode. So it's good, but it's not. But it's not good. It's bad, but it's good. It's both. <sighs> Basically, nothing happens. Darth Vader meets get. She lets Obi Wan and the rebels get away, only for her to get into. <laughs> okay, that fight was. The fight with Darth Vader and her was pretty cool. I will admit that. Only into the point where he holds the lightsaber and was like, What the fuck? You're not supposed to hold someone else's life. There's no indication that Darth Vader ever hold another lightsaber but his own. Where in any indication did he ever hold a different lightsaber? When? When? I'm sorry. What? Okay, anyway, they get into a pretty cool fight scene. Oh, yeah. First, Darth Vader doesn't even pull out his lightsaber, just oh, dodges all, uses the force to block the lightsaber from her killing it, which I think is pretty cool. Like, this fool's so badass, he can't, he doesn't need to pull out his lightsaber to fight you because of how weak you are. <laughs> I thought that was badass. Okay, Darth Vader is actually the only good, is the best part of this show. I don't care. I don't care if people said uh, he's the only good part about this show. Because you can't do wrong with Darth Vader, okay? You just can't. You can't just you can't. You can't. There's nothing you, you can't do any that's the only thing they did right with the show is treating that Vader, right? That's the only thing they did right. That's about it. That's the only thing they did right. And they show that Darth Vader's a badass. Well, Darth Vader is a badass. He sh and then he pulls like takes her lifesaber and basically wets the floor with her and kills her. Well, almost kills her. And I have no idea how she survived that. And she was she got gutted. She got stabbed in the stomach. So how in the hell did she survive that? Did she use her force powers? I'm sorry. How does the force work? I'm pretty sure that's not how the force works. It's not how the force works. You just don't heal from your wounds with the force. I'm sorry for what... So apparently, stuff from Rises... So apparently, stuff from the Rises of Skywalker when Leia heals people... Heals wounds actually works in Obi-Wan. It actually works. Apparently, I'm, I'm just gonna assume that. She healed her wounds with the force. Is that how it works? That's how she did it. That's how she survived. That's the only explanation I can give of how she survived. Because she should have been dead right there. The she should have not come back. My voice is killing me. I'm going to lose my voice. I'm going to lose my voice from this. My god, this has been turning... This was only supposed to be like 30 minutes tops. <laughs> this is now turning into... 
a 55 minute well 55 minutes it turned into a 55 minute match okay episode 5 this is a worst fucking ep this is the worst this is the worst this is the absolute worst episode f okay episode 5 ends on a cliffhanger like always like all Star Wars and then basically the Empire is chasing after the ship that got away with Obi-Wan and the Rebels and Leo and Obi-Wan says I'm gonna go out there to give you some time and the Empire does do that I'm not even gonna mention what happens between because I just wanna get this video over with basically Obi-Wan just everyone tries to say no don't go and Leia's really heartbreaking about it. Don't go, don't go, Obi Wan. And then Obi Wan convinces Leia that she'll give him. A oh yeah, previous episode. Remember that girl who helped Obi Wan? Yeah, basically, she died. Okay. Okay. She just died. Said her death is sad, but her sacrifice is worth it. But the sacrifice was. I, I actually cared about that character. I want to see if she was actually a spy, but. The they just wasted that opportunity. 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 Okay. Ep anyway, episode six. She, they convince. She talks to Leia, and she convinces Leia that she. That he will be back, or we'll see you. That we will cross pass again. I don't know. I can't even remember the dialogue because this show is so forgettable. I was very paying attention to this show because of how mad, how much rage towards Simon. Like, hey, if you're gonna show me shit. I'm not gonna give two shits about you. Anyway. This show is still this Obi Wan, 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 Obi Wan. It actually gets good. Obi Wan reads, drives him off, and Darth Vader gets out of the ship, and the Empire just lets the rebels go. I don't know why you just don't chase after them. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Grand Inquisitor is alive, so man. Wait, I always said that. Never mind. Uh, Darth Vader. Yeah, Darth Vader is alive. Oh wait, Darth Vader go face open one. They have the rematch, which you saw coming. Come on. You didn't expect them to get a rematch. We all saw it coming. And the rematch is actually good. The fight is good. The fight is good. I'll give it that. This is what should have happened the first time. But no, they decided to do it for the second time. Okay, whatever. The fight is good. It's a good fight. It looks like Darth Vader wins this fight again. But then Obi-Wan needs a Leia and then almost kills Darth Vader, but you know he survived. This fight's actually pretty good. It's actually the best, one of the best. It's actually a pretty good fight. It's one of the best Darth Vader fights, I guess. Well, maybe not as good as the Darth Vader vs. Ahsoka fight. No, nothing beats that fight. I'm sorry, no. Nothing beats that fight. That fight is amazing. Nothing beats that fight. Nothing beats that fight. Nothing beats that fight. I'm sorry. Nothing. That Ahsoka vs. Darth Vader fight was amazing. I know it's short, but it's amazing. It is amazing. When they actually do show it, it is pretty good. It is the best. It is the best fight. Padawan. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about levels. Anyway, it's the best fight. That's the best fight. That's the best solo. That's the best. That's the best lightsaber fight. Okay. But this fight is pretty good. It's probably the second. It's probably one of the best lightsaber fights, I guess. It's, it's a good fight. So you have a good lightsaber fight, and you have good dialogue between. You actually so 
relationship between Darth Vader and Anakin and Obi-Wan. And Bonds are Ted. And Darth Vader basically just says, You didn't kill me. Obi-Wan, you didn't kill me. Anakin killed me. I killed Anakin. Okay. Yeah, cool line dog. I will admit that. The whole fight's great. And oh yeah, basically a side plot. The, the Inquisitor the Inquisitor lady just sister sits. It's trying to go after um It's trying to go after uh it's just <sighs> It's basically just trying to go after um Basically, it's just trying to go to. It's basically just trying to kill Luke Skywalker because he knows some stuff. He wants to kill Luke for some reason. I don't know why. Just kill Luke so he can get Darth Vader's respect back. Even though Darth Vader doesn't even know that he had a son, so you're not. It's not like you're accomplishing anything. It's not like you're accomplishing anything. Darth Vader doesn't even know he has a son at this point. Unless he does. It's, I don't know. He doesn't know that he has a son until the comics. Which I'm not going to read the comics. You can go read it yourself. I'm not going to read it. But anyway, this is... Basically, the episode ends off good, and it's good. You expected the end. You know where they should have ended that? They should have ended it at where Qui Gon Shin pops up. That's when they should have ended it at. That's where they should have ended it. That was a perfect place to end that. Oh, remember when? Oh yeah, and Grand Inquisitor. Yeah, almost killed Luke Skywalker, and then he, she saw herself in Luke Skywalker, and decided to spell him. Yeah. And here's another moment that would have sh came at a shock. Would have made this show came at a shock. Remember when she grabbed her lifesaver? You know what she should have done there? She should have just grabbed the lifesaver and kill herself. That would have came out of shock out of nowhere. Because she couldn't handle the suffering, and the dark side just took over her. That would have came out of shock, and that would have been something no one expected. That would have been a good. That would have been worth the episode. But no. Yeah? What the hell are you doing on that? I'm making a video. Okay. And did you do the task that I had asked you to do? Sorry about that, I was mom. Anyway, this show is terrible. Anyway, they continue it. Obi Wan reunites with Leia, which they shouldn't have showed, but anyway. And then ends. And then Obi Wan lets. And then they ended here with Obi Wan talking to Luke, saying, Hello there. And that's how they end it. That's how they end it. No way, I think I got that backwards. I think they saw Princess Leia, then they ended with Qui Gon Jinn, and then Obi Wan gets in this cave. 
Yeah. No, I think they show Kwai Kan Jin first, and then he goes to Princess Leia's home, and then they, then Obi Wan goes to his cave, and then it ends there. I was expecting an after credit scene because I expected Dolph Bond to show up at the end, but nope, didn't show up. Boop, and that ends the show. There goes the hour and five minute rant that I showed. This show is absolutely trash. I don't recommend you watch this show. This is the worst Star Wars property that has ever been put out. Because this show doesn't give a fuck about Star Wars. It doesn't respect it. It doesn't care about the continuity. It doesn't care about the timeline. It doesn't care about the continuity. It disrespects continuity. It disrespects Star Wars. It shouldn't even be canon. This, this show is not canon to Star Wars. It's just a spin-off. It's not canon. Because it's, let's just say this show is not canon. It's non-canon. It's basically Godzilla's Revenge. It's non-canon. It's non-canon. Nothing happens in the show. It's nothing. It doesn't do nothing to the whole Star Wars. It's nothing. Non-canon. The show is non-canon. I don't care if people say the show is canon. It is non-canon in my eyes. Anyway, the show's over. This review is over. Sorry for the hour man. But here's a quick update. I am coming up with a 200 sub episode. Go vote on Twitter to see what you want me to vote for. I'll link. I'll send. A, I'll leave a link to my Twitter in the description below, so you can go vote for the poll. So you can vote for the poll. You should probably find it real quick. I'll make up. I'll probably make a. I'll probably uh, leave a link to my Twitter in the description. But anyway. This ends with one hour, one hour and seven minute rant. I don't know how to end this on. I guess I can just end it on. Stay big, Star Wars fans. That's how I end it. That's how I end this. Stay big, Star Wars fans. Damn, can't believe I call myself. I can't. Stay big, Star Wars fans. Bye.